Okay. In a previous class, we studied the no arbitrage pricing theory. Today, we solve one exercise question. In one period, there are four possible states for the price of share X as described below. In state 1, the share price will be as high as 150 pounds. In state 2, the price will be 120. In state 3, 100 pounds. In state 4, 90 pounds. So state 1 is very good, while state 4 is not very good. For this chair, there are three call options that are currently traded in the market and that mature in one period, each having strike prices 130, 110, and 90 pounds respectively. Their current prices are as shown on the right. So the current price of the share itself is 99 pounds, the current price of the call option with strike price 90 pounds is 18 pounds. The call option with strike price 110 pounds is currently priced 8 pounds. And the last call option is priced 3 pounds. So in a previous class we had three possible states for the future and three assets. In this question we have four possible states and four assets. But in other respects the idea should be the same. Question 1. Find the no arbitrage price for the call option with the strike price 120 pounds. Question 2. Find the no arbitrage price of the put option with the strike price 95 pounds. Question 3. Find the no arbitrage price of the risk-free asset that pays one pound in one period. So the first thing we should know is the payoffs of all available assets, including these call options. So we should extend this table like this. Today I'm not going to explain the details of the payoffs of call options at the maturity. Briefly speaking, it's the difference between the realized stock price and the exercise price, the strike price, or zero whichever is larger. So, for example, if state 1 realizes it so that share price is 150 pounds, so S is 150, the value, the payoff of a call option with strike price 90 is 60 pounds, 150 minus 90. If the strike price is 110 pounds, then the value of such option is 40 pounds, if the strike price is 130, then the value of such option is 20 pounds. If state 3 realizes so that the share price is 100 pounds, the value of the call option with k equal 90 will be 10 pounds. The other two call options will be worthless. Okay? There are four states and we have four assets. Their payoffs are known. Their current prices are known. So we can compute theoretical prices of allowable securities, or state prices. So denote the prices of four state contingent claims as P1, P2, P3, and P4 respectively. Then we have a system of four equations. The first equation corresponds to the share. The current price is 99 pounds. This share can be regarded as a basket of 150 units of state 1 contingent claims and 120 units of state 2 contingent claims and 100 units of state 3 contingent claims and 90 units of state 4 contingent claims. The price of such a basket should be equal to 150 times P1 plus 120 times P2 plus 100 times P3 times 90 times P4. Okay? Similarly, the call option with strike price 110 pounds is regarded as a basket of 40 units of state 1 contingent claims and 10 units of state 2 contingent claims. So the theoretical price of such a basket should be 40 P1 plus 10 P2. The current price of the call option is 8 pounds. Basically, the right hand side of these equations are the current prices of these four assets. The left-hand side of these equations are their theoretical prices as bundles of state contingent claims. 
Solving this system of equations is easy. The last equation will give you p1. If you substitute that result to the second equation from the last, you will get p2. If you have p1 and p2, then the second equation will give you p3. And then the first equation will give you p4. You solve this and you'll get the answer p1 equal 15 pence, p2 equal 20 pence, p3 equal 30 pence, and p4 equal 25 pence. Once you get these state prices, you can price any asset. What is the no arbitrage price of the call option with strike price 120? Because the strike price is 120 pounds, in states 2, 3, and 4, this call option will be worthless. Only in the first state does this call option have the worth of 30 pounds. In other words, this call option is a basket of 30 units of state 1 contingent claims only. So the theoretical price of this code option is 30 times P1. P1 is equal to 0.15, so it's 4.5 pounds. What about the put option with the strike price 95 pounds? Put option is a right to sell. If the share price is a high, then put option is worthless. In state 4, share price is low, and in this state, this put option is valuable. In state 4, this put option is worth £5. In, others, in the other states, this option is worthless. And therefore, this put option is regarded as a bundle of 5 units of state 4 contingent claims. Its theoretical value is 5 times P4 equal £1.25, £1.25. £1 what about the risk-free asset that pays £1 for sure? You know, having the risk-free asset is just having one of each state contingent claim. So its theoretical price is just the sum of P1, P2, P3, P4 equal 90 pence. Now, as a matter of fact, combining these existing assets, these new assets can be replicated. And a cost to make a replica actually coincides with the theoretical price implied by the state prices. Yeah, maybe we should solve one exercise about replication in the future. Now, what if there are many states but only a few assets? Well, even if there are many states but only a few assets, if you can trade these assets frequently, then you can still do no arbitrage pricing. So in the next exercise, we are going to see this with multi-period mode.